what is up gamers let's get into some steam deck stuff all right so first things first i just want to talk about the general gist of how to install windows i'm going to put a link for a video that i used um big shout out to wagner's tech talk the guy has an excellent written guide with an excellent video i'm not going to try to trump that all i'm going to show here today is that windows does work on the steam deck I'm gonna go ahead and just boost the brightness here a little bit. So the biggest things I would say that took a, took a while, and he just kind of glazed over these really quickly. So I kind of wanted to talk about some things that he didn't really mention as much. So first and foremost, one of the things that I noticed uh, most apparent for me was just moving the mouse. So this is the right trackpad, and it's gonna be kind of hard to see um, the actual mouse button here, but basically, you use the right trackpad to move the mouse around when it wants to move around. Uh, it looks like I'm actually stuck in in Destiny right now. So, um, and then you do need to learn the shortcuts with the Steam keys. So I'll do a quick video on Destiny after, but you um, you do need to learn the shortcuts with the Steam keys. They are still applicable. So for me. The, and also, and it doesn't talk about this when you when you use Steam. Otherwise, uh, you can use the Steam button or you can use uh, the the three dot button, the multi uh, menu button. I always forget what it stands. It's like M A S or something. Uh, escape is either one of those buttons and left on the D pad. So that's super critical and something that I think uh, would really have been helpful to know. <laughs> and had memorized before I went and installed Windows the first day that I got my Steam Deck. So that took a little bit of a little learning. Number two, although the micro SD card works well, things take a long time to load from it to the RAM and the APU. Now, once you get them seated to the RAM and the APU, you're golden, you're good to go. I run Destiny 40 to 60 frames per second on medium settings, no sweat, no problem looks really good really crisp uh, i don't have screen tearing jittering none of those things it plays exceptionally well um star citizen i'm going to get into that was a much longer uh use case and takes a lot more finicky uh a lot more finagling and it is a little bit more finicky but it does work um and i i do enjoy playing these things on windows a little bit more uh, just because I recognize the interface more, and I, I just am, I'm not a Linux power user at all. Um, just barely have learned how to use Proton. So uh, for me, this was just like a, a better home base for me. And I bought a 512 gig uh, Samsung Evo uh, micro SD card, uh, which doubled my space on my Steam Deck, and I filled up the 512 uh, main hard drive pretty quickly. I will say that if you just use some restraint and only install the games that you're playing, uh, you know, for that trip or that at that time, you should have you should have plenty to plenty of room. But certain games like Star Citizen, Destiny, you know, other AAA titles, obviously like Call of Duty stuff like that, is um, are like hundred plus gigs. So you do run out of room pretty quick with bigger titles so just be aware of that and then the first video that i'll make uh following this one will just be playing gwent um that was a much smaller game uh but you can see here i can just kind of uh drag and use like a cursor this way you can use the trackpad so you left click double left click to do it it also is in tablet mode so it will show you um, so helpful tablet features like this uh, little checkbox. You can turn that off if you want to um, down in the settings, but um, not a whole lot you have to do with that. And then to right click, you just use this other trackpad over here to right click with this one. Now this one doesn't move your, uh, it doesn't move or anything. I do wish that they would activate this to do like, um, like the third button wheel so you could scroll down pages with it. That's the only thing that I've really kind of missed. Scrolling is a bit of a pain, um, but you also can just use the touch screen on most like web pages and stuff like that to just scroll down. So that works really easily. Um, otherwise, stuff that you will need is uh, Gloss SC. I'll, I'll share two videos that I found. Neither of them 
was fully helpful. I will say the number one thing that it would not work for me until I went into Steam. And then once you're in Steam, you have to go to your, um, sorry, you need to go to add a game and you want to add a, a non Steam game. And then you're going to choose Gloss SC uh, and, um, and add that to Steam. Once I did that and ran it from Steam, so from my Steam library, and then added the notepad, uh, now I can just unlock the notepad. So you see here, I can't, I can't scroll, but if I, use, if I use the touch sensor, it scrolls down just fine. Um, everything is really kind of small, and I will also say one annoying thing is the drivers for whatever reason, even after you install an authentic copy of Windows, don't that you can change your scale from like 100 to 125 so that you can see a little bit more um, the close up, but you can't change it to be, all right, so that's not what I wanted that. Um, but I can't, I can't, you can't change the refresh rate. It's locked at 60 and you can't change uh, the display resolution. It's locked at 1280 by 800. So that was kind of a bummer for me. I wanted to try to see if I could upscale. I've watched a couple of people who have some workarounds on the Linux side, but less so on the Windows side. And so the glare is just, um, the, the, like the etched anti-glare glass makes it so you guys can't see hardly anything that I'm doing. Um, but just note that that's what's happening there. So uh, without further ado, I hope you guys are enjoying the use of your Steam Decks if you have one. If not, I hope that you are able to get one soon. I've had a total riot playing with mine. Until next time, friends, good luck out there. Have some fun and keep on gaming. Bye for now.